I am Teacher Pearl. I will be your mathematics teacher. Please get ready and get your notebook, your ball pen, and your module. Let's study Mathematics 6, Quarter 2, Week 6, Describing Set of Integers. The following are our objectives. First, recognize integers on the number line. Second, describe a set of integers. Third, Identify real-life situations that make use of integers. As a sort of drill, let us discuss what are the definitions of each letter in GEMDAS. Letter G stands for Letter E stands for Letter M stands for Letter D stands for Letter A stands for And letter S stands for Very good! Kids, what are the important notes that I've given to you last week? These are the important notes that you need to remember. Important notes and a simplification if you have both multiplication and division to the operation one by one in the order from left to right. Second, multiplication does not always come before division. You must do one by one in the order from left to right. And number three, in a simplification if you have both addition and subtraction, do the operations from left to right. What can you say about the picture? Correct! It's a mother beside his son's bed. Let us read the statement or the paragraph. Wing was not feeling well. Her mother noticed that her temperature was 2 degrees Celsius beyond the normal body, which is... 37 degrees Celsius. One hour after taking the medicine, her mother took again and it decreased by 3 degrees Celsius. What is his temperature before and after taking the medicine? Integers can be used in real life situations. For example, Wynn's body temperature was 2 degrees Celsius beyond normal. We say that it is positive 2. A decrease of temperature 1 hour after taking the medicine is expressed by a negative number or negative integer which is negative 3. Let's define what is integers. Integers is defined as a word with no fractional part. In other words, we can count forward and backward using integers. Going from one integer to the next is a discrete jump of one unit, with no stopping part of the way there. Integers are the numbers we get from rounding fractional numbers up or down to the nearest whole. How can we relate this picture with our lesson? We all know that we all need social distancing. In this picture, we relate that the girl in the middle serves as the zero, the boy on the right side is the positive number, and the boy on the left side is the negative number. That's why we are going to talk about positive and negative numbers. And we are going to tackle the number line. Before we proceed to our lesson, let's all sing two integer songs.
singing integer song. As you can see, the example is about the ocean. I know you live near the ocean. That's why just a reminder children, please avoid throwing trash on the shore because the trash that you throw in the shore can lead or can go to the ocean and it can poison the fish or the elements living in the ocean. Integers are two types, the positive and the negative. On the number line or coordinate graph, positive integers are on the right side and the negative integers are on the left side. There are all whole numbers. Let's study this number line. Now, let's discuss what is the definition of positive numbers or positive integers. Positive integers are whole numbers used to name points to the right of zero on the number line. It can be written with or without a positive sign. Negative integers, on the other hand, are whole numbers used to name points to the left of zero on the number line. It should be written with a negative sign. And zero is neither positive or negative and it has no sign. For example, an integer has its opposite. The opposite of positive 5 is negative 5. The opposite of positive 2 is negative 2. Two integers are opposites if they are placed with equal distance from 0 but on opposite sides of the number line. Let's try this activity. Direction. Recognize what number does the heart icon is placed. For our next activity, please listen to the direction. Identify real-life situation and write the phrase under the column which they are belong. I have given this list of real life situation and you're going to rewrite it on the column. I know that because of all the practices that we've done, you can do with it on your own. So listen carefully to the direction. Name the integer that is being described in each number. Answer the question using the number line. Write your answer on your notebook. Good job! Now, let's proceed to the next activity. I know you can do it! Direction. Describe the following set of integers. Write positive or negative integers. We are almost done! To fully check if you really understand our lesson, can you please answer this? Provide the correct word on each blank. For our last two activities, Activity A. Write the integer represented by each letter on the number line. For Activity B, Give the opposite of the following numbers. Write your answer inside the circle. Congratulations! Thank you for listening to me. I hope that you all learned today. For the correct answers of our lesson, please wait at the end of the video. Again, I am Teacher Pro, your mathematics teacher. God bless, stay safe, and thank you.